All right, settings in AgOpen GPS. Um, just have Visual Studio open here and the project open. And this assembly info, what it does is this is where all your copyright and all the trademarks and its unique user ID number and all that stuff is in this file. At the bottom is the assembly version and we're using like 2.4 right now. So then settings get stored in your user profile, app data, local, and then it creates a directory called AgOpen GPS. And in there is our version 2.4.0.0. And then that creates an XML file called user.config. And these user.configs are all over Windows and a lot of different programs will use them. So, um, in terms of settings, we have these settings files and these are all the different settings throughout AgOpen GPS. And these, in, you have the, um, like whether the window is maximized, yes or no, its location, size, you have baud rates, all the different settings. Um, what, uh, here's, is the roll from the dogs or from the brick or BNO, what is the NMEA hertz, all of these things are all in these two settings files. So settings.settings .settings and vehicle.settings. .settings. You can see all the storage sequence. So every time you run it and then it remembers what you ran last time, it, uh, it takes these default values and then if you change them uh, where are we if you change them it writes to these files these XML files and then <coughs> excuse me and then the program uses these updated values but if you restart the program from scratch then it defaults to uh, to these settings Okay, back in our user config, we have all these values that are set from, a, from previous running, like antenna offset or whatever. And now, if we run AgOpen GPS, we go reset all, reset everything, yes. Please restart. See, now that has changed. So now you can see, it's, there's only cam pitch and window position, and these are all set to the default values. So when we run it again, see it said yes to all, now reset. Now it created a working directory and the culture as English, EN, and our working directory. So it added those two as soon as you ran the program. So if we make a change in AgOpen GPS, like uh, turn the grid off, turn pursuit line off if we exit that see now it's updated it again yes to all see we took is pure on false it's off and is grid on is false so now it just keeps adding anytime you make a change to those these settings the default settings it writes it to that XML file and uses them as the current version so here we just start it again so, you know, change it again. Yes to all. So it constantly keeps updating that. So if this gets corrupted, that XML file in this directory, if this gets corrupted, then that's where the, the problems are going to happen. So we can do, exit this. If you just delete AgOpen GPS completely, there, now it's not there at all. Yes to all. Yeah, well, it's going to freak out because it doesn't exist. So now if we start it, see now it's totally default using all those default values. And there it is, 2.4.0. Our user config is back to the initial default values. Now, if we make a change, of course, it's going to write to that, yes. So you now it writes the window position and that sort of thing. Now we're back to where we were. So, whoops. If we go back to our assembly info and change our version, 2.4.1, and now we start it. See, it's another new version, but now you can see 2.4.1. Now we have a new user config which is different than the other user config. 
So each of these is version specific based on the version of the file that you ran, like the assembly that you run. Okay, hope that's all confusing, because I know I am. Okay, so we all have seen this form, and then each of these numeric up down, they have a minimum and a maximum associated with them, so that number has to remain within that value, and as you know, you can't exceed those minimum values when you're running the program. But if outside you load, okay, what is this, 200, if you load 199 into this, then it's gonna crap. That's where it comes up with that exception error. So really the only way you can ever change these is externally loading something. Like when you go file load vehicle, then you fill in one of these with an erroneous value. So what I've done in position designer is when we load the form, is it metric, is it not? Then what we do is like take the antenna height, and this is that properties.vehicle. This comes from that settings file that we were looking at, that XML file or the default. Puts an antenna height, and then antenna height does this check value, which is done here. And what this does is it says, um, is it less than the minimum, or is it greater than the maximum of that control? It goes through every one of those controls and every one of those values, and it compares it. And if it is outside the minimum and the maximum, then it just changes that value and then uh, returns that there's a problem. So when it comes back to the form settings, um, if the thing is changed and it's not right or in and out of minimum or maximum, set it to that default that is between and then make the, um, the setting red. So what we'll do is we'll go to I go GPS vehicles Oh, it doesn't matter. This one. And we'll change antenna pivot to 400 meters. So that's totally erroneous value. And save. Now when we run the program, and then we load vehicle. See, everything's still fine. We load this vehicle now. There you can see that we have this 400 meter long piece of equipment, which is a fault. I mean, it still runs, but that's a problem. Um, it's really hard to take those values now and try and error check them without all those mins and maxes. But using that part of the checking when you go here, it says, okay, serious problem with antenna height. Uh, maximum is exceeded, double check all your settings, fix it and resave the vehicle file. Because if you don't resave the vehicle file, that same setting is going to constantly keep corrupting. So here we have antenna height. Yeah, I fiddled with that one before. So and now they're in red. So you can see right away where the problem is. It was an crazy antenna height. Um, so if we make that, so right now it's in inches, but if we make that 80 inches and then behind the antenna, 60 inches, 5 feet. And then we save this. The next time you run it, there it's all good. But our file, this guy, is still corrupt. It's still 400. And that's still good. Antenna height, 31 meters. That's, that's no good. So until you actually, because if we load the vehicle, there, same problem. It's in that vehicle settings is where the problem is. So we just save that. See, now it's normal vehicle again. If we go file, save vehicle, right over the inch, yes. So now when we load it, um, there isn't a problem because we fixed it. So that's where the errors can creep in. And that's, it's hard to catch every error, but this goes really a long way when you bring this guy up. See, now we've saved the file and everything is fine. The other thing is these mins and maxes, um, if it's 300 or if it was that one, 500, if the 500 is the maximum, 500 centimeters is not the same as 500 inches. So you have to change the maximum amounts also 
if it's metric, you have to take the mins and maxes and divide by 2.54 to convert them into inches or centimeters. It sure be a lot easier if everybody used centimeters, but well, that's not the way it is. So, um, so that's just the way it is. And I hope that helps people understand settings. And again, we go back here. See, here's our user config. And here we have all our new settings in. See the way it adds up? And again, if we go display, reset all, really reset? Yes. See, here's our new config file now.